Let's talk about one of those models that you have not officially announced, but you alluded to it yesterday, the fact that you believe that you will ultimately sell a more affordable EV than the Chevy Equinox, which you guys have already said, look, that's going to come in at around $30,000 uh, base model price. Can you sell a $25,000 EV? And is, is that in the cards, let's say, over the next couple of years? Well, we plan on launching the Chevrolet Equinox EV uh, next year, along with a Blazer. So as we move forward, we are already working on one that will be even more affordable. Because when you look at really getting to 2030 and having you know 50% of our sales be electric vehicles, you've got to reach the segments where the customers are and 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 make sure they they have interest in EVs. And that's one of the benefits of General Motors. When you look at the scale of the Ultium platform, we can do a broad portfolio to get to you know really high EV volume in the next handful of years. So I'm really excited about the plan that we have coming. Well, Mary, I'm excited about seeing you later this evening. But first, let's uh, talk about something that we're going to be talking about tonight with uh, one of your executives, autonomous driving. I think I'd like very much to own a Cadillac Cruise that could go around town with me not having to drive it. I know you're talking at CES that it could be mid-decade. Is there any way we could accelerate that? Because in that speech, Mary, it looked like it's ready to run. Well, you know, we are so pleased with how the, the technology is progressing progressing with Cal Vote and his leadership team. Uh, you know, we just announced yesterday that we're uh, inviting the public to get on a wait list to start taking rides. I did just a couple weeks ago. And, you know, you watch the video and it, it looks, um, you know, very reasonable. But the experience is just incredible. Uh, the technology is so confident and, you know, a couple minutes in, you forget that you're an autonomous vehicle and you're just on a very smooth ride. So, you know, we're working together with Cruise and we think having personal autonomous vehicles as early as mid-decade is definitely in the cards and it will change the way people move. All right. So, Mary, in the conference call, there were some questions about the number, uh, whether you have too many different models. Uh, and you mentioned some are going to be 100,000. So why would you ever preclude that? Uh, Silverado, where are we right now with orders for what is a pretty exciting EV? Yeah, so we are, uh, with just a few weeks in since we announced it, we have over 110,000 orders, and that continues to grow every day. So the interest is very strong. And, and remember what we said at CES, you know, this is the first couple versions, but we have more variants. When you look at the whole truck market, which is just growing every year, you have to meet the customer where they're at, either high value or high feature. And we're going to have a full portfolio of trucks as well as crossovers and SUVs. Mary, it's David Faber. Uh, you know, incredible ambitions for the company. I mean, increasing your production, talking about crews and autonomous. I just wonder, uh, in addition to obviously the increased capital allocation, do you have enough people? Do you have all the plans in place to be able to fully execute the vision that you have right now? And what gives you the confidence that you'll be able to? Well, last year we added an additional 8,000 technical resources. And so, you know, when we uh, announced that we want to be carbon neutral by 2040 and we plan to have all uh, vehicles, light duty vehicles, be EV by 2035, as well as what's happening at Cruise, which is really changing the way people move, people want to come to General Motors. We actually saw uh, an increase in people submitting their, their applications. So I am very confident that we've got great talent on the field today and we'll have more. We plan on doing significant hiring again this year, but uh, the talent is definitely there. And, and again, we're hiring from all over the country and frankly, the world.